Alright, hey, what's going on, guys? It is KS here, and I'm recording another video. Um, it's been a while, been a couple weeks since I recorded my uh, last video. But, um, pretty much uh, what I'm going to be teaching you in this video is how to pretty much log things from your Roblox game. You know, so have uh, your Roblox server, um, the server send a message into your Discord server. Basically, uh, I got this little test server here, and so what you want, what you're gonna want to do is go to your server settings, go to webhooks, and create a new webhook. So this one, I'm gonna call it uh, testbot, and I'm gonna upload my uh, little bot icon here. Uh, I made pretty basic, um, and you're gonna want to copy this right here, and you're gonna want to save it. And obviously, um, here is where you choose here what channel you want to post under. So now that you got your your webhook created, uh, you're gonna want to go to service server script service and pay uh find a script. I'm gonna name this one. Discord. <clears throat> so, code you're gonna want to put in here is uh, local HTTP service equals gain colon get service HTTP service. So this is gonna get the HTTP the HTTP service, which uh, will allow you to you know, basically do things, and you're also going to want, uh, you go, game settings, you're also going to want, uh, HTTP service, um, what do you call it, on, and I don't even think this thing is published, so let me, ah, it doesn't matter, uh, that's a second, so, you're going to want to create a variable for the URL, uh, a string, there you go. And it's basically, this is what you've copied to your clipboard uh, from Discord. So let's, let me just think of like something you'd want too long. Um, Let's say when a player joins, so let's go to game dot players dot player added on connect function player. and from here you're gonna want to create a uh, what, what do you want the message to say? So um, I'm gonna name this uh, message equals curly brackets and two square brackets and you're going to want to put username lowercase and whatever you want the, the name of the bot to be when it posts so I can just go capital all, kind of all caps server and, and drop a line obviously always put the comment at the end here here I want to put content And whatever you want the message to say. So let's just go ahead and I'll put in like one line of code concatenate okay, with the player's name. Has joined the game. So now that you got what your message is going to say. Um, you're going to want to go on a sorry, message equals HTTP service colon JSON encode message. And so now that you, so this basically encodes the uh, message and uh, 
like just encodes it and yeah, send it off to the, uh, the Discord server. And so you're going to go HTTP servers on post the sync URL. So this sends it off to the Discord server to be posted. So now I play the game. It's gonna take a second because my computer sucks. Of course. Bear with me. This is an amazing computer. And now like, I've been notified. So I'm in the game here. And we go close out of this. JJ Boxer has joined the game. And as you can see, I'm in the game. You can also do this for when the player leaves, so you can basically do the same thing and just when the player leaves, they you know, if you know, this person has left the server. I actually find this uh, to be something very useful when creating games, so I can log things like, you know, just important things that that happen when I'm not in the server, you know, just to catch errors, you know, just kind of stuff I need to know. And sometimes I just use it for fun, but uh. Yeah, hope you get. Hope you found this very helpful. Um, if you have any suggestions for any future videos, uh, post them down in the comments, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.